Ukrainian officials say at least one person was killed as Russian bombing of cities continued overnight. Minutes after the supposed ceasefire ended, the northeast region of Kharkiv came under attack. In a further development, Russian media has claimed two thermal power plants were attacked by Ukrainian forces in the Russian-controlled Donetsk region. Well, our Ukraine correspondent Hugo Bochego has the latest from Kyiv. So this was a unilateral ceasefire that had been announced by Russia and had been dismissed by the Ukrainian authorities as a cynical ploy. So what we have this morning is that authorities said that minutes after this ceasefire ended last night, a number of cities came under attack. Uh, the region of Kharkiv in the northeast uh, was uh, hit by these Russian attacks and the governor said uh, a man uh, was killed. Uh, he was 50 years old and the governor said that Russia continued to to terrorize the civilian population, uh, even as people were celebrating Orthodox Christmas, which was celebrated here uh, yesterday. And uh, there have been reports of explosions uh, in the southern cities of Zaporizhia, Melitopol, also uh, in the city of uh, Kramatorsk in the east of the country. We don't have details of what happened in these cities, but again, it shows you that Russia has continued to attack cities across the country after this uh, alleged ceasefire. And in the east, uh, fighting continued during this uh, Russian truce, especially around the city of Bakhmut uh, in the Donetsk uh, region, uh, a region of the country that's seen some uh, intense fighting. And that's something that President Zelensky talked about last night. He said that uh, the fact that Russian troops continue to uh, target Ukrainian positions uh, around Bakhmut uh, was proof of how false uh, Moscow's words are, in the words of the president. And he said that peace would only be restored when Russian forces were expelled from his country. So again, uh, the ceasefire has now ended, but it was something that had been dismissed by uh, the Ukrainian authorities as a ploy by the Russian government. Yeah, it's difficult to get details, isn't it, of these attacks, Hugo? And in fact, we're hearing reports uh, from the Russians that two thermal power plants have been attacked in the Russian-controlled areas in the east. Do we know anything more? So, yeah, so this is another development this morning. Um, we had uh, this uh, statement from the Russian appointed officials in Donetsk saying that these uh, two uh, power plants uh, were damaged, apparently in a rocket attack by Ukrainian forces. We don't have details of what happened. There has been no official reaction from the Ukrainian authorities. They rarely uh, issue comments, uh, statements uh, about alleged attacks on, on uh, Russian targets uh, in territories occupied by Russian forces here in the country. But again, Donetsk uh, is a region of uh, the country that's seen some intense fighting and it seems that uh, battles continue uh, today, uh, even after this uh, ceasefire that was uh, announced by Russia. Hugo mentioned Bakhmut there. Well, Russian forces are on the edge of the eastern city. They've been trying to take it since the summer in an attempt to push further west. But it hasn't fallen. Our correspondent James Waterhouse, along with producer Siobhan Leahy and cameraman Paul Francis, sent us this report from Bakhmut on the front line. You leave civilization behind on the journey to Bakhmut. We're heading to one of the most hostile parts of the front line. And coming into view is a city in the middle of it. The Russians are just a mile away. Ukraine is fiercely defending here. Invading forces have thrown everything at this city, leaving it almost deserted. Braving it above ground is Alexander, a Ukrainian soldier. The situation is tense. There are explosions and strikes coming from the enemy's side. They promised a ceasefire, but we don't see it. We don't feel or see it. They said one thing, but in reality, it's different. Few expected this ceasefire to hold in any way. It was announced by Russia in the first place, and Ukraine was never going to engage. But there is still heavy shelling coming down from the Russian side. Ukraine is holding on to this city and it's not going to want to let go any time soon. In Bakhmut, those who flinch are in a minority. 
Said he tries to patch up what he can. You would not wish this on your worst enemy. We have tried to celebrate Christmas regardless. We put up a tree and decorations, but it was in the basement. We didn't forget about this holiday. We can't hang around for too long, but this is about as far as you can get from a normal Christmas. Eastern Ukraine has gone through nine years of Russian aggression. There have been several attempts at ceasefires. Few here expected this latest one to bring any respite. James Waterhouse, 